Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Danny Warrior from DannyWarrior.com and I am here with another video, y'all. So I caught myself trying to do a live, but for some reason the connection was just doing whatever it wanted to do. So I said, you know what, well why not bring this word to YouTube and give the people what God was giving uh, to me without all of the interruptions, right? And so here I am. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is not your first time here, you already know what you're going to get. Some love, some 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 crowning up with me, some words, some some smiles, some some couple of everything. You're going to get it. You're going to get it, all right? You know, it's some truth for sure because um, I'm going to bring this word, you know, um, every time as God gives it to me. And um, I'm never going to say anything that God said and he didn't say it. We're not doing that, you know. Yeshua is not coming to get me, okay? Um, but I wanted to share this word with you guys. And so to today's topic was um, um, God's devouring the enemy's foundation. The foundation of the enemy. Um, where did I put that paper at? Because I actually had some notes. And I'm sorry, you guys. Well, we're just going to go off of whatever God is speaking and saying in this moment. Um, because he did give me some, some, one of the things that he gave me. Oh, here it goes. One of the things that God spoke to me was that, um, was that they're going to turn on each other. And so, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, whoever they are, that's between God and, you know, the person. But he said that they're going to turn on each other. And he says some of the actions that these people have done were worse than the things that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, and um, he said that God is devouring the enemy's foundation. Okay. And he said that all this happened because of sin. And I'm going to back all of this up with scripture as God gives it to me. I'm going to go forward in prayer. I don't want to do anything and I will not do anything without Yeshua. Um, um, you know, because that, that's who I put my trust in. That's where I get my truth from, my wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and even the even the ability to even speak to you guys. I am so not worthy. I don't qualify, but I kingdom qualify because God has chosen me because of my heart. And because I choose to do his will, you know, despite myself. So, you know, you guys, um, I pray that this word gets to the people that are to hear the most and to hear it, period. I pray that young and old, you know, um, because, you know, we live in a time where everybody needs to know the word. We're not exempt from what's going on. But I'm going to go and I'm, I'm going to give it to y'all the way that God has given it to me. Um, um, and, and as he decides to flow, if he decides to flow, even in this live without anything that had been written or, you know, I give him free course to have his way, but without further ado, let's get into this prayer and then we'll go right into the word to heavenly father. We thank you, Yeshua for all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. We thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy, your kindness, towards us we thank you for your patience that's renewed every day with us despite ourselves we thank you for allowing us the, the ability to be able to connect through social media we thank you oh god for allowing us shall we, for allowing us to be able to you know to hear of your word not just be hearers of your word only though but to be doers of your word holy spirit i ask that you hide me behind the cross i ask that you speak to me, speak through me and speak for me. I ask that you fight for me. God, we know that the spirit realm is just as real as the natural. And God, I ask that you go into every part of, of, of Wi-Fi, every part of videoing, every part of this phone, every part of this, this atmosphere. And I ask that you take it over so that your word can be delivered accordingly. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Let's get into this word. So you guys, you guys, okay. Let's talk foundation. Foundation. God was speaking to me about foundation. Um, hence the topic, right? So he was speaking to me about foundation, you guys. And um, anybody knows that a foundation um, 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 is something that is built upon. Like, um, 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 I don't want to say um. I'm sorry, y'all, for saying so. Um, but a foundation is something, something built upon. 
Like for example, remember the three little pigs. One built its house with straw, one built its house with sand, and the other built his house with bricks. So, but before the house was even built, it had to have a foundation that it was built upon. Let's give you another example. Another example of a foundation is the structure of, of, of God, of a marriage. You know, God, husband, man, and children, you know, there is a structure, there is an order, something to be built upon. In order to build a family, you have to have a man and a woman to be able to build upon, you know? Um, 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 let's talk about... Um, what's another foundation example of a foundation another example of a foundation is um you know um just a building a regular building uh, um infrastructure you have to have an outline to be able to build upon when you do that um so there are many different things that you can uh, it's us as human beings we have a foundation which is our feet in which we stand on if we do not have feet we are not able to stand right so our foundation has to be sure and it has to be solid and it has to be, you know, intact so that we can build on it so that it won't uh, uh, rock and shift its way uh, to and fro seek, so the enemy can seek who he made, whom he may devour. If your foundation is not solid in Christ, you're going to be one of those people that are tossed like the wind, tossed to and fro, okay? And so um, God was speaking to me about the uh the foundation and he was just letting me know that he is going to devour the enemy's foundation it's so much that's been going on in the atmosphere you guys so much that's been going on in the atmosphere and god has been speaking he's literally been speaking and it's so crazy because for a moment i was just like god you know um i was just like i had did a video and i was like man i haven't gotten any views but you know i can't even really care i can't care about the views that come you know, back and forth with, on his YouTube. I'm telling you, people are going to look up and they're going to be like, oh my goodness, why didn't anybody say anything? And it's going to be videos out there where people just kind of ignore simply because, or, or not even videos, words, you know, scriptures, whatever, that people ignored that they didn't take heed to because they didn't think that they had something to say or because it did not, um, 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 it did not register with their with what they had going on in that time but god is literally doing something new and because he's doing something new he's raising people up you know and voices up to speak the truth of god you know um, um because he has something that he wants to get forth and what is that he wants to let the people know that all glory belongs to me because at the mention of my name every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that i am lord and so i'm i'm here to literally you know tear down the enemy's camp and also build up on god's word and through love and through scripture you know um and through whatever else god uses me to do whether it's poetry whether it's art whether it's whatever He's going to allow me to do that here on this channel, on this platform, um, um, because this is what he's given me to do. Um, but yeah, so, so I just was like, God, you know, he, I heard Holy Spirit say once he gave me the, um, I heard him say to me in my time of prayer, because I was trying to figure out what I was going to speak for my brothers and lot, but God began to give me, he told me to turn to Lamentations. And I thought I heard him say Lamentations 6, but apparently he said Lamentations um, 4. You know, and but I heard six, and so I was like, okay, because it's no six. I'm like, okay, I heard four, and then I heard six. I was like, maybe he wants me to go to Lamentations six, and you know, I'll read verse four, but no, he wanted me to go to Lamentations four and verses six. And so I began to read down, and as I began to read down, you know, God then began to speak to me about different things, and so that's when he gave me the topic that they that um that God's the, going to devour the enemies foundation and so you guys i need you to understand that whatever has been built upon a, fa a false foundation a rocky foundation and you know um anything that can be built off of a fa false foundation is you know um let's just say you are someone who are who is a people pleaser and you feel like you have to please 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 people and appease people simply because you're not solid within yourself um, um, um you have to be something that you're not it's simply because you are not you are not firm and sure on your foundation your foundation within yourself is not sure which means i know that your foundation and yeshua is not sure because in Christ, we know who we are and who we are. And if you don't know, we ought to get to know, right? 
And so God was just letting me know that, you know, people who have built things off of envy, they are coming down. People who have built things off of hate, they are coming down. People who have built things off of malice, anger, um, they are coming down. People who are who have built things off of pettiness, they are coming down. People who have built things off of false narratives and false foundations, they are coming down in this season. The Holy Spirit allowed me to go to a video that I did talking about two leaders will go. And um, it's so crazy because two leaders will go, but not not that's not the point. This is a whole nother video for a different time. What I do mean is people in high places, because he began to speak that to me again, people in high places are coming down, y'all. And when I, what I need you to understand that when God does a thing, that is it. When God does a thing, ain't no turning back. And yes, I said, ain't, ain't no turning back. When God does it, when God does it, when he opens up a door, no man can shut that door. When he closes a door, oh, no man can open up that door. And God literally was just saying, I am tearing down people in high places. And I did a video on that. People in high places are coming down. In society, we have so much going on to the point where it's like, here and there and everywhere wrong wrong is right and right is wrong and god's like no i need the, the foundation to be set and i need the foundations to be sure yes i am a loving god but i'm also a god of wrath i do not play when it comes down to certain things i was listening to a video and a young lady was like well how how is it that you know we're not supposed to worship false idols and all of these things but god's like he's a, he's a jealous god and this is said in the third because he created us that's why because he he was the one who built this infrastructure that's why because his foundation is solid and sure that's why that's what qualifies him some things you won't know until you get with him some things you won't know until you get in his word some things you won't know until you get into his presence and so what i need you to understand is that all things come through God. All the, the enemy can't do what he does unless he's given the opportunity. The enemy is the prince of the air and there are things that are going on in the, in the, in the waves, in the waves. I mean, even in the government system that's going to affect us in schools, in jobs, in homes, in church, in all of these different places, in all these facets of life. Y'all think that these things have been something I promise you. We have not seen anything yet. The enemy wants to try his hand in a way that we've never seen. And guess what? Some of us, we're going to be caught off guard again, just like they were in the pandemic because you are not hearing and heeding to the voice of God. Okay. But I'm going to read on because I, 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 I got it's so much that I could say so much that I, I, I want to say, but I don't want to get away from what God has been speaking through his word. Because that's the ultimate, you guys. That's the ultimate. And we don't do nothing without his word now. We don't give, we ain't giving, God always can back his word up. He can always back his word up with word. He can back his scriptures up with word. He can back his, he can back back, okay? So I'm going to read Lamentations. Never take my word for it. I do challenge any and everybody to go to, to the Lord in prayer. Test the spirits to see if, it's of God, if, if they're of God or not, if they are of God or not. Even my spirit, because I don't ever want to lead you astray. I never want to say that God said something and he didn't. And I, I don't ever want to give a word that, that, that may not be for your season and time. You know, all of the words that God gives me are timeless. Whatever God, whatever time frame God says, that's what he says. I don't generally give dates and stuff like that because God don't give it to me that way. If, if by chance he gives it to me that, that way, then praise God. That was his will, you know? Okay. So I'm going to read Lamentations 4, chapter 4, starting at verse 6. And it says, For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hands stayed on her. Y'all, could you imagine? The destruction that came to Sodom. Lot was like, God, can you just say, can you just, before he even, before God even destroyed it, he like, can you just say one? Is it, is it one? I mean, can you just save it? God's like, well, I, I need you to go find 10. If you can find 10, I'll, I'll save it. He's like, all right, all right, well, I, can you, oh, I can't find 10. Well, can you find five? If you can find five, then I'll save it. He couldn't find five. He's like, all right, well, 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 what about, can you find three? You know, and he like, can't find three. I will, if you can, if you can find them, I'll save it. 
He said, all right, well, if you can find one, then I'll save it. Guess what? He found none. He found none. No, none were worthy for, for Sodom to be saved. Lot's wife looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. And that's for somebody. If you turn back while God is in the process of literally clearing out, judging, doing what he does best, justly, righteously, in the fullness of time, and you look back, I promise you, you will not live. You will not live to see the next move. You will not live to see the next day. You will not. This is not just something that I'm saying. She turned into a pillar of salt. Sometimes we don't want to hear the word for what it is. It is what it is. This doesn't just go for them or him or her. It also goes for me. The word applies to me as well. And, and one thing that I know is, is you don't want to fall on the, the wrath side of God's judgment. But I can only imagine what Sodom was like. I can only imagine how the people were. I can only imagine the destruction that came because of the sin. Because of the sin. And so, I'll read on. I'm going to skip all the way down now to 11. And it says, The Lord hath accomplished his fury. He hath poured out his fierce anger and hath kindled the fire in Zion. And it hath, and it hath devoured the foundations thereof. God is judging. He's tearing the foundations of the enemy down. The enemy is the prince of the air. And I tell you, those people in high places are coming down. Those things that they thought that they were able to get away with, I'm telling you, he is, God is literally going to do something so massive on a major scale where you're not going to be able to say that it was not God. You're going to know that you know that you know. Just like his word says, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that I am Lord. I'm telling you. God, there is going to be a time where his judgment is going to be up and his fury, his fury will subside. But I need you to understand once that takes place, as he's, as, he, as he's judging and he's shifting things in the atmosphere right now, I can guarantee you that the enemy's foundations will be devoured. I'm going to read on. I'm going to read on down to 12. And it says the king's of the earth. Come on now. People in high places are coming down. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. Nobody is going to be able to know. Like I'm telling you the way that things are going to unfold because God is going to start pulling the covers off of people and the way that things are going to unfold Nobody would be able to fathom it. No one will be able to fathom it. You are going to be like, wow, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that leader doing that. I didn't see that political party doing that. I didn't see that one doing that. I didn't see that church. I didn't know that person was doing that. I didn't know that that leader was doing that. I didn't know my child. I'm telling you, God is uncovering things. So the very foundation in which those things were built upon, which were false foundations, they're literally going to be sought after. And God is devouring the foundations of the enemy. I'm going to read down to the 13 and it says, For the sins of, of prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her. Literally. It's going to be because of sin. There are people who have shed innocent blood even in high places. Oh God. Oh God. What just came to my mind was when it uh, was Cain and Abel when his when his when his blood cried from the ground. Oh my goodness, the fury and the wrath of God that's going to come forth. He's going to destroy the enemy's foundation. My Lord, because of sin. Because of sin. 
I'm going to read on down to 14 and it says they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. I mean, these people were doing some real cruddy stuff. These people were doing some real unjust stuff. These people were doing some things that you would not even fathom. And God is literally about to judge righteously. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys. I, you don't understand. When God gets to a place where his right, because he wants, he, his, it's not his will that any man shall perish. Ah, manda yororo sokoya. It's not, it's not his will that any man shall perish, but that every man be in good health and that they prosper. Even as their souls prosper, but you have people that are choosing to be evil. You have people that are choosing to do witchcraft. You have people that are choosing to be unforgiving. You have people that are choosing to be in malice, to be in, in, in forgiveness, to, to serve false idols and worship false idols um, um, unto Baal. They are doing it and God's like, no, no, no more, no more. My God, they have polluted themselves. You have people acknowledging Christ with their lips and their hearts to be far from them. They have polluted themselves and God's not pleased. They have offended the Holy Spirit and God's not pleased. He's like, how long? How long do you know what to do and you choose not to do it? Because them people in high places know the word. They know it better than some of the Christians. And they shall be whipped with many stripes. I'm going to read down to 15 and it says, They cried unto them, Depart ye. It is unclean. Depart ye. Depart. Touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They shall no more sojourn there. No more. No more will they rest there. No more will they stop there. No more will they journey there. No more will they go back to those places. Because their foundations are coming down. 16. The anger of the Lord hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. No more will God literally uh, 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 not send recompense to the people in high places who are of him. Oh, he's going to fight for his own. And he's going to send for, oh man. Oh God, what? You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. No more. You won't get over over on, on God's children anymore. We won't be we won't be in lack because y'all benefiting out there in high places because y'all out there trying to play God. No more. I'm telling you, the wealth transfer that's about to take place for God's people. He said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Thank you. Thank you. Those false foundations are coming down. And those people who have built on solid foundations that are sure through Holy Spirit and His Word, Yeshua is coming through for His own. I need you to understand that. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help and our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. In the state that this nation is in, this nation could not save us. So if you can't, if the nation can't save you, guess what? You save yourself. If you don't know God, get to know him. This is not the time where you don't want to know him. I'm telling you, you don't want to not know him now. You don't want to, you don't want to teeter-totter. 
You don't want to be in and out. He said, hot or cold, lukewarm, I'm going to spill you out my mouth. That's what he said in his word. It's not my word. Don't even take my word for it. Test the spirits and see if it's of God or not. Take this word back to the Lord in prayer. You may not believe the God that I believe in, but just give him one chance. Test him on a thing. He'll prove himself, although he doesn't need to, but he will. Just like he did to, this, to, the, to, to one of the disciples. When he said, well, I'm not believing that, um, that Jesus died and he rose until I see him. He'll do it for you. Okay. I'm going to read on and it says, as for us, hold on, did I? Yeah, the nation cannot save us. 18. And it says, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. Y'all. The end is coming. People of God. The end is coming. That wealth transfer that's taking place. Because people chose to build on false foundations. And they chose to do things from hearts that were not of God. And they chose to literally serve Satan and not God. Because when you're not... When you're not doing things as unto the Lord, you're not serving. What God are you serving? I promise you it's going to all come to an end. God is going to shake the foundation. Not even shake. Oh, God. He is devouring the foundations of these wicked people. And we're going to be able to have a life that is righteous and just. Filled with wholeness and kingdom building. And kill and kingdom blessings and legacy that we will establish for our seed. I promise you, all of what in which the enemy is doing is coming to an end. Mark my words. It says out 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagle than eagles of, of the heaven. They pursue us upon the mountains. They lay wait for us. In the wilderness. 20. The breath of our nostrils. The anointing. that The anointed of the Lord. Was taken in their pits. Of whom we said under his shadow. We shall live among the heathen. Then it says in 21. Rejoice. And be glad. O daughter of Edom. That, that dwellest in the land of Oz. The cup that shall pass through thee, that shall pass through unto thee, hold on y'all, shall be drunken and shall make thyself naked, man. So the cup is a figure of God's, of, of God's judgment. God is pulling the covers. You will be naked. Your foundation will be what it is. I keep saying, according to the scripture, if you cover your head, your feet going to show. If you cover your feet, your head going to show. God is pulling the covers off of people and have places that are trying to play God. Off of leaders who have been putting out there to stand on God's word firmly and who have chose not to under those believers that's been in and out to the Saturn been self-righteous with them Pharisee spirits or whatever and they don't think that they stuff stank those people who are jealous and malice and full, full of envy and all of these things and pride oh honey you're about to be naked and I don't mean you got to be willing to be naked but for God no I mean he's pulling covers off because he wants to expose the enemy. God is exposing the enemy for who he is. So that the glory can be restored back to his name. 22 says the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. God's going to accomplish it. It shall be done. This is not something that may happen. This will happen. O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captiv captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom, 
And he will discover that sin. Your sins will be found out. Be sure your sins will find you out. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Lord, forgive me for my sin. Knowingly sin and, and unknowingly sin. There are things that, that we will, as a people, will struggle with that God won't take away so that we can come to him. I need you to understand that when you are in God, it's a constant battle. God knows that we're going to have things that we struggle with. But it is our job to surrender those things to him and give them to him. And the more we get to know him, the more we're intimate with him, the more that we love on him. He can help us in those things. The Holy Spirit is a helper. It's a comforter. It convicts. And when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't operate outside of the flesh. Because you want to feed the flesh and give the flesh what it wants. And that's why false foundations are coming down. Because you have had so many people who have fed their flesh. So many people that have given their flesh what it wants. And now God's saying, oh, your time's up. Time's up. You done did your time. The enemy, the enemy knows his time is short too. That's why he fighting so hard. Why do you think he wants to go go hard in the paint now? He want to go hard in the paint now. Oh no! Oh no! 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 God won't. He he won't allow it. He'll only be able to get so far before he come down. Down. I need you to understand. And I just want to touch on just a little bit. Just a little bit. Chapter five of Lamentations, and I want to I want to read this, and it says, "Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach." These people gonna be praying, Lord, consider, Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach, consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses. To aliens. My God. I'm going to go to Jeremiah because this, I'm reading in my keynotes. Jeremiah is seven. Hold on. Thank y'all for y'all patience. Jeremiah is seven. Jeremiah is seven and six. I'm going to read what it says because it says, consider this. It says, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after our neither walk after other gods to hurt you so it says our inheritance is turned to strangers in our house in our houses to aliens wow my god what a time it will be Man, judgment. Judgment is real. And God doesn't play. I don't want to play with him. I don't want to play with him by no means. That's why I'm, I'm constantly repent, repenting. I'm probably constantly messing up, but I'm constantly repenting because I'm like, Lord, I don't want to I don't want to fall short of your glory. I don't want to be that person, God. I don't want my soul to be a castaway. And then I said, Lord, Lord, haven't I cast out demons in your name? Haven't I prophesied in your name? And am I myself be the very own castaway? No. I don't want to hear him say, depart from me. I never knew you. You work of iniquity. I don't want to hear him say that. I want to hear him say, well done. No matter when my time is. But I know right now judgment is coming forth. And the enemy's foundation will be devoured. You got people who are being used by the enemy and they don't even know. And they literally, got, they literally about to, whew. Thank God for God's grace. That's sufficient. 
Because if anybody hears this video and they're in some stuff and they know they don't got no business, this is God's short opportunity to help you to get it right before his wrath comes upon you. And I would urge you to go get it right because you don't want to feel the wrath of God. Not the way that he could give it to you. Then he says, we are orph orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are widows. We, we have drunken our water for money. Our wood is, so is sold unto us. Wow. Things are going to turn, y'all. Things are turning. People of God, things are turning. It says, our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. My God. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us, and there is none that doeth deliver us out of their hand. We get our bread with the pearl of our with the pearl of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. Y'all, y'all think we, y'all, y'all ain't seen that. We ain't seen nothing yet, y'all. And I'm smiling because I know that God's covering his people. But y'all ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> they ravished the women in Zion and the maids in the cities of Judah. Princes are hanged up by their hands and faces of elders were not honored. It's going to happen, y'all. They took their young men to, to grind. The children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from their gate, from the gate. The young men from their music. My God. The joy of the heart of our heart is ceased. Our dance is turned into mourning. Y'all, I just did a scripture where I was saying there's a time for everything. And the mockers will be mocked. For everything has a time. And he said it's a time for joy. And it's a time for, for mourning. People are not going to be. They not going to be smiling. This judgment that's coming. They're not going to be smiling. When them foundations start getting pulled. From under them. Because God's destroying them. Due to the judgment that he is coming for. I promise you they won't be smiling. Not at all. Not at all. It's real out here, y'all. But you guys, finish reading on. I'm your girl, Danny Brewer from DannyBrewer.com. And I'm here to do the work of my father. I love you guys so much. You may have to cry a lot, maybe a little bit. Don't stay in the sunken place. Own where you've been, own where you're going, and own where you want to be. We got work to do. It's time for us to take up our royal places in the kingdom because we have work to do. God's judgment is coming and it's here. And I need you to understand that the enemy's foundations are coming down. Those false foundations that you have built upon are coming down in this season. In this season. Starting now. Give, be sure to give this, this video a thumbs up. Like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you will. I love you guys so much once again. I'm your girl Danny Royal. From DannyRiver.com and I'm praying for the people of God and I'm praying even for the sin of man. You have an opportunity to get it right. This is your opportunity if God is allowing you to hear this video. When you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. And remember to test the spirits and see if they are of God or not. Even mine. Don't take this word, don't take my word for it. Go to the word for yourself. Read Lamentations 4 and 5 of its entirety. I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all on the next one. Have a blessed day. Peace.